Hey Rifters, John here. Today we're going to be checking out Tales from the Rift. This is actually the Halloween update. Now, Tales from the Rift is actually a series of horror games. I'm not sure how many there is. But today we're just going to be checking out the Halloween update since it is Halloween. Now, I haven't played the game yet, as always with horror games. I like to do the video on my first playthrough to get a, get a real reaction. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, this is the intro to Tales from the Rift Halloween update. This is really cool. It's really like uh, Tales from the Crypt. The intro to Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> Yawn. Welcome, fellow wayward soul. It's time for your Halloween treat. I call tonight's dastardly tale the house at 213 Jump Scare Avenue. Ha 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 <laughs> if you didn't really read the instructions first you're going to have a bad time. You've been warned. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. It's right up in my face. Alright now, you can skip the intro, so you don't have to watch it every time you play it. Which it was a really cool intro though. And you can also use the Razor Hydra with this. Unfortunately, I don't have one, so I can't test it out. Okay, I think you got a flashlight. There we go. Breaking my wrist here. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. This is probably way better with the Razor Hydra. I'm not sure if you can use a controller. I didn't see controls in the in the README for it. What is that? Huh. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Controls are a little bit, little bit quirky, I guess. You have to use um, Q and W to rotate, I mean Q and E to rotate. It's a little bit hard to walk around. It's already creepy with the banging and stuff. Um, 
seems to be a problem here. Oh shit. What it is about little kids laughing in horror movies and games it really creeps me out. Look at this little pumpkin that it's really badass jack-o'-lantern. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, that scared the crap out of me. That was nice. Oh shit! The hell? Don't laugh at me, little kid. Wow, this has really got a lot of stuff going on here. There is a little bit of graphical glitches when the lightning strikes. Not really that big of a problem. I'm gonna have to check out the mirror. It's really cool how mirrors in these games really follow your head really well. Really sets the immersion. Let's go ahead and keep looking around here. A one hell of a haunted house. Slow ticking clock. Sorry guys, really hard for me to get used to. Oh shit. Really hard for me to get used to rotating with Q and E. Is he a little alien kid? Oh, that is freaking creepy. Let's, let's follow the dead kid. Can I go in here? Yes. Uh, should I go in here? <laughs> oh, well. I'm missing the door up there a bit. I don't know if you can actually die. Is that a giant Buddha? There's this... Oh shit. It's got a fucking chainsaw. <laughs> Do I go back in there is the question. Ah, screw it. Uh, oh shit. I can die. Ouch. Alright guys, that was Tales from the Rift, the Halloween update. Now there is more than what I've shown. I did go back after I died and played it, and you can go in all the rooms, and you can go outside. And there's a couple things to be seen there. I didn't want to completely spoil the entire thing. Because this is one of those games that you really need to play for yourself to get the full effect and the full scare. Now, I did have a little bit of problem with the controls. I assume it was built for the Razer Hydra. So it's probably a lot better. If I had one, I would have tried it. Sadly, I don't. There was a few graphical errors when, with, with the lighting. Which is not that big of a problem. They probably can be fixed. 
I really enjoyed the intro. It really brought me back to watching Tales from the Crypt. For those that are old enough to know what Tales from the Crypt is, it's it's a pretty cool intro. The game itself was, was pretty fun. Well, fun. I say fun. I mean scary. It did make me jump a few times. A few unexpected things like the jack-o'-lantern and the cat jumping out of the drawer was really cool. The little kid laughing and talking is, is really creepy. All in all, it was a pretty, pretty scary demo. Now, I know there's a couple other parts to this Tales from the Rift. I haven't checked them out yet. I will be doing a video on them later. But for sake of time in this one, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and just make it a separate video. Anyway, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or requests, please post them below. If you liked the video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Thank you.